day 61, 6.23am. Last night, the housemates spent their final evening in the reward room, a 60s-style lounge club. They drank ten bottles of beer, one bottle of wine, and three jugs of strawberry daiquiri. Ray has been asleep on the sofa for two hours and 20 minutes. John has been asleep for four hours and 37 minutes. Ten twenty one AM Scott and John are still in bed. Ray has been up for forty five minutes. He's still wearing his costume from the reward room. Do you want another drink of water? No, I'm fine, thank you. Last night Steph was sick eight times. Did I down a drink for a camp? Because I can't, I don't know. I don't know. I could have, if I'd have downed one of them strawberry daiquiris, that, that could have possibly uh, sent me over the edge. Possibly. Because maybe, of it being so quick. Maybe it was the 18 before it that's, that sent you over the edge. Poor old Scott cleaned it up. I know. <gasps> it's good, isn't it? This is new brother. Could Ray come to the dining room? <laughs> 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 Told you not to fair. <laughs> we told you not to take the costumes out of the reward room. Right, in it for the day. <laughs> Don't get my questions now. Man in black. Da, 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 I know, it suits him. <laughs> Ray, Big Brother has called you to the dining room to ask your opinion on today's three issues. Yes. What's your view on asylum seekers entering the UK? Um, <clears throat> me personally, I have no problem with asylum seekers coming into the UK. I think uh, everyone has as much right to live wherever they want uh, in the world. Um, I think that if they have come from, some of them have come from a very, very kind of uh, tough uh, backgrounds. They've seen a lot. Um, and they've kind of uh, experienced a lot. And if they want a, a, a better life in the UK, I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't agree with uh, some asylum seekers that do come in here um, and, you know, do take us for a ride kind of thing, like, you know. And that's, I, I, can see, I can see why a lot of people don't like them coming in, because there's a lot, there are some people, some people that are actually English or, you know, sorry, some people that are British that live in, like, kind of really, really bad, um, bad conditions, like, and they can they don't get as much as some of these asylum seekers that uh, do come in here, like you know, some of them which do take um, the whole kind of welfare system for a ride. Um, and I can see why there's a lot kind of tension over that. 
I, me personally, I, I don't have any problem with the Asylum Seekers coming to the UK. Ten fifty three AM. In three days' time, either Steph, Ray, Cameron, or Scott will win Big Brother. Scott and John are still in bed. Our cold just brings the worst out in you, doesn't it? Yeah. It just brings the worst out. It can either bring it, I think it can bring out the worst sometimes, or it can bring out the best, I think. But I wonder, I wonder what John meant when he says like some quite people and being themselves. Thin cheese, mate. What's that? Quite thick, I'm quite thin. Uh, whatever, yeah. I think yeah, thickish. Thickish. Um, I wonder what he meant by some people and being themselves, like. Yes, I do wonder that. I, much, I wonder you know? that as well because I. Because I hate to think that that's what he thought, like I say about myself or even anyone here, like. Yeah. Oh God, I think, no, I know. And why he'd just say that Scott's being himself. He said that Scott's he, said, he, he says, I can under, he turned around to Scott last night and says, I can under, yeah, I think you're you're being yourself. Blah, blah, blah. He didn't say that about he, else, he like, doesn't know us, does he? Eleven oh eight AM. Last night John, Ray and Steph wrote on the statues in the reward room with makeup. Thank you. I'm probably better off with my head slightly I'm probably better off with my head slightly tilted like that. Huh? I'm better off sat like this, like this, have my head flat before and it weren't good. Will my mother laugh or will she be like dying of embarrassment? <laughs> that is the burning <laughs> I think it'll be a laugh. Yeah, I, I think do. she'll laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got my splattered bottoms on. Hang on, let me get myself. You're going to have the, the full fledged. You're going to ask your questions now. Do you think? Yeah. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, look at the state of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh they're going to ask me the questions. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. Death warmed up. <laughs> I'm prefer to tell them that get the questions asked as well. Oh, questions asked as well. Hello, Steph. Morning. Steph, Big Brother has called you into the diary room to discuss your behaviour last night. <gasps> oh, no. Do you have any idea what is being referred to? <sighs> the vandalism. That's correct, Steph. Can you explain your actions? <gasps> I don't know. I think I was just got... Oh, it was... I don't know. I got obviously taken up in the moment of everybody vandalising and got involved. I shouldn't. I'm sorry. Very what a laugh. It was, yeah. Uh, it was a good laugh. It was. <laughs> you told off. You told off? Vandalising the statues. <laughs> <laughs> you serious? Yeah, and she was very, she was very... T Really meant it as well. What's she say to? You? She really meant it. Vandalising. I, oh, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Hang on a second. Like, all they have to do is just paint it white. I'm not naughty. That's all I got called in for. You still have your questions to go Right, it's not funny. It is funny. <laughs> Eleven forty-nine a.m. John and Scott are still in bed. Steph is asleep on the sofa. Cameron, Ray and Steph have eaten a breakfast of cheese on toast. Tanya. Tanya. Oh, I can't wait to see Tanya. Mind you, I can't wait to see any other. Yeah. The bunch. Yeah. Just like food, because they're all going to be outside on Friday. We know it. Whatever. And here we go. Yeah! <laughs> It's not, I'm feeling like a big kid again. Yeah, big time. But we have to kind of know, because I've got the ears still three days left. Yeah. Well, in fairness, last time we were talking about, we said six days. So three days have gone quick. <laughs> 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 oh, boy, uh, it's not safe to speak a word. You do that. Like we're saying, I mean, I would not change it for the world. No way. Yeah, but it, everyone, I think, has definitely got the, what they wanted out of this. Completely. 
And I think and there's more some. to come. Mm. That's something I've definitely learned. Stuff about myself in here, definitely. Like, I didn't come in here to, for a soul searching kind of thing. No, no, no. Account. By saying that, I definitely have learned stuff about myself, like, you know? Yeah. And I says, I says, it's hard to, I says, I can't put in words now. <coughs> but I, you know, I said the same thing. It says, like, it says, when I do go, I look back and I really, and actually go, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. Should, you know, that's what, that's what I should have done. That's what I shouldn't have done. And I, mean, I kind of really reflect on that, like. I hope I don't look back and think, why were you so flipping boring or shy? About Jeez, Cameron, you can't you're being far from fucking yeah, boring here. Like, Jesus Christ. That's man, the no thing, I hope, that, I hope nah. I don't think that. <laughs> Be proud, you're the only Scott the last of the, the last week. Surprised, no, proud, no. delighted, yeah, exactly. flipping everything. Definitely. One twenty eight PM. Scott has been in the diary room for 17 minutes. He's giving his opinion on asylum seekers for this week's task. Maybe I draw the line at people who are coming over from countries who have got serious problems at the moment and who, you know, the, the people whose who's lives uh, and existence is in danger if they were to stay in their own countries rather than just people who, you know, sort of decide that maybe their country isn't for them and just 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 want to come home. I mean, that's a, I mean, that's a different thing. That's where you do judge everything on its merits, I suppose. Um, big Brother, I wish there was a load more I could say in this subject. I just feel a lot this big now because I know very little about it. Have I spoken for the required amount of time on it? You have indeed, Scott. Well, that's a miracle. Um, no, I don't think I should say anything else on this subject because I, embarrassingly it's something I know very little about. Four fifty eight PM In just over seventy seven hours the housemates will find out who is the winner of Big Brother. Big Brother has called Cameron to the diary room to canvas his opinions on today's three topics. Cameron, the third topic is aesthetics. Does size matter? <laughs> um, I certainly wish I was a few pounds smaller. Um, in the real world, I do uh, some exercise. And when I get back to the real world, I'll continue on with that. And hopefully, I'll be able to get to size that I'm happier with. Happier, I mean I'm happy, I'm quite happy at the moment, but I, th I have an idea that I would maybe be happier if there was less of me. Six forty eight PM After getting up to request headache tablets from Big Brother, John has gone back to bed. Steph, Ray and Cameron have been on the sofa talking for one hour. I think you have to have your heart broken though, in life. Just remember I had this question, one of my mates that I hang around with now, like, you've got, you've got a question. Oh, no, 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 when, at the very, um, when I first started hanging around with them, um, she was, uh, she's, gone out, well, she's gone out with one of my mates as well for about ten years, and, uh, you know, we're all at the mates' cafe, like, drinking, you know, whatever, and I think, uh, yeah, she turned me down or something like that, like, you know. And I went in the toilet and I was crying my eyes. <laughs> you can't go trying to pull. You might bleed in girl. No, 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 no. But I was only hanging around at the time and they weren't going out with each other. They weren't going out with each other. At yeah. that time. No, they weren't going out with each other. Don't tidy up that plate, Stephen. They're, they're actually, they bro they're broken up, like, for about a couple of a couple of months. I can't imagine you crying over a girl, right? Oh, trust me, that was the, the one and only, that was one, the one and only time. Isn't that trust funny? Me. When I was when I was young and stupid, <laughs> young and foolish. How, how young were you? 
I was there. If you've been out there for 10 years. 15, 16. Oh, right. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, well, I thought you meant it the other like, week. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, geez, that's, no that's just, she's one of my best mates oh, in the world now. Yeah, geez. So you've never had your heart broken then? I wouldn't have said so. What happened with you and the lady then? That, when you were younger? Didn't you say you had a girlfriend for a long time? What happened there then? Don't take me back to that time. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hard. It's too really hard. The hurt <laughs> and the pain. <laughs> oh, no, thanks. Just finish up again. Come on, no, 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 do you know what I mean? I'm not really interested in seeing you long term. They, that's the sort of thing that just stops. Yeah, you, that's right. You can, but not when you've had a girlfriend for a long time. They don't yeah, just stop. They don't just stop. It's just <laughs> no, but if you go away to college and you're far away, yeah, it's not the kind of thing can affect a relationship. I would say. It can, yeah. In what sense? <laughs> Come on, Cameron. No, I don't much to say on the subject. Spill the beans. <laughs> There's no beans to spill, man. We we'll might come a few juicy gossip <laughs> beans for us. I'm going to be well on Friday night. God, he's very good, isn't he? Look, he doesn't help me he's gone much, do you? Eight twenty-eight pm Cameron and Scott are preparing a dinner of minced beef and pasta and banoffee pie. Oh, wakey, wakey. Hello. Good morning. Morning. What time is it? <laughs> half past eight. Oh, there you go then. Perfect timing. You know, I've had some kit today, haven't you? Yeah. I'm going to sleep well tonight as well, I think. I'm uh, thinking about having a shower. Well, Cameron's just preparing the evening meal, as you can see. Mm. Too much pepper. Is this the one with mushrooms in it? No. No. Oh, no, no. I'll do that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have subjected you to that. Thank you. On such a day. Yes. That might put me back a few steps. Yes. I'm actually feeling pretty much normal at the moment. Mm. So That's good. Recovery is just about done, I think. If, if I'd had a beer at noon, I, I reckon it could have been an entirely different day. <laughs> Look how long he looks in that dressing gown. <laughs> <laughs> he looks really He's tall, isn't he? <laughs> 9.55pm. Steph is in the diary room. Do you think parents have the right to smack their children? Um, yes. I do. But obviously, again, with that... How can I... Uh, obviously not beat them up or anything, but um, if a child is doing something naughty, I can't even think what, you know... Not in public as well. I don't believe in smacking in public either. I don't believe in this, like, um, you know, you see them in supermarkets. and oh. Then I think, oh, God, is there a need for that? Because I think, obviously, there's not enough discipline in the home for the kids to go out and do that. Um, so I think it's acceptable at home, almost in the private of your own home, if you like, um... I don't know, I don't Would know. you like your girlfriend to be smarter or more attractive than you? Hmm. Well, she'd have to be smarter to be smarter than me. Smarter there or smarter? <laughs> smarter mind-wise. Smarter. More attractive, I suppose. Because then at least if she's, like, way more intelligent than me, then... You're not going to find enough to talk about sometimes, are you? I think it's better if you are quite suited 
Mine wise has its wise. Oh well, that wind must not very stimulating. Uh, well, what about you? Definitely more attractive, but then you think you don't want a stupid bird, do you? 1.01 a.m. Ray has been in bed for 28 minutes. John has been in bed for 10 minutes. When Big Brother delivers instructions to the house, they are laminated to prevent housemates from being able to write on them. Yes, I think it's time to turn in. <laughs> I'm going to go and get my towel in before it gets too damp. It's probably damp already. Well, it's 1 o'clock. I was supposed to be in bed at 10. I told you, it's the only excitement. Here, Scott, this is what we could do tomorrow. We could do water skiing on the carpet. You're not allowed to touch the carpet for... <laughs> but somebody could pull it, like, you could pull me, like... That way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. You throw it. I want it to slip off. Wait, is there nothing that we could use as stuff? You could throw stuff around. Like we just bought a new game. Use this as your rope. Is it working? Is it working? Get off. Tell you what, we'll start at the corridor. Ah, oh, it's what a game, Cameron, was then. <laughs> it's really hot, isn't it? <laughs> right, turn here, turn here, and we'll, we'll skid into the lane. Time files. Yeah. Hang on. That's brilliant. One thirty-four a.m. All of the housemates have chosen to sleep in the girls' bedroom with Steph. Should we sing some songs? For example, come down from the daily, come down from the daily. He's laughing, you're not. You're being funny. Come down from the daily. How can you strip a willow on your own, man? Well, it's the, it's the. Smell of female ascending, Cameron Wilde. <laughs> yes. The pheromones in the air. It's uncontrollable. Hush. We have, we have to chain him to the bed, even, you see. Maybe <laughs> exit, <laughs> girls. Duvet. Duvet, where are they? Duvet. Eight and a half weeks. Ah! Who's that? Somebody. Twark. 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 What? What's that? You may as well say Twark. You get that far. <laughs> get to do it. Come on, let's, uh, let's do something. How many out of my 